नानम परमम धेयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम okay so we will continue studying regular local rings and i will uh, provide the gaps last time we have had uh, so for example and also some examples so uh, to get uh, more intuitive ideas from from geometry especially so what we want uh, so we have started with so let us recall a definition of regular local ring so a m Noetherian local ring. And of dimension equal to D. Uh, so we have seen in uh, earlier lecture that this D is less equal to the minimal number of generators for M, which is also dimension of the vector space m by m square over the residue field a by m so if equality holds here then we call the ring to be regular so a is called regular if regular local if equality holds okay so um, so the local rings are usually studied with the help of the associated gated ring you have seen this also in the uh, proof of uh, dimension theorem etc also when we talked about uh, hilbert sambul polynomial etc and so on so for a we have this object gr ma which is the associated gated ring of this is the direct sum of this successive powers quotients this is called the associated graded ring of of a and last time we have seen that a regularity of the local ring is equivalent to the associated graded ring the polynomial algebra this is what we have seen and obviously in the number of variables as d okay and in that proof i have used that the local ring a and this associated graded ring have the same dimension this i have not proved we will prove it today uh, most of the things we have proved we have to tie up the things in a neater way so that is what we have used but before i do that also i have made a statement that if if a is regular then it is normal and how did we prove if a is regular then this graded ring is a polynomial ring and polynomial ring is integrally closed normal and from there i said original ring is normal so we have we have used these two theorems two things namely if a is regular regular local then the associate that is equivalent to saying the associated graded ring is a polynomial algebra over the residue field this we have used this we have proved by using dimension of a equal to dimension of associated graded ring so this we have to prove today this this theorem 1 and another thing i have used is if uh, a regular local then a is normal and for this i said use this one because if this is normal graded ring is normal then the original ring is normal this is what we have to prove okay but before i do that 
I want to make some comments about the definition of regular thing. Um, first of all, see you should view this associated graded ring. So from A we have gone to associated graded ring. Um, one advantage is this is a finite type algebra over a field and for finite type algebra over a field we have very strong statement normalization lemma and so on that was not uh, the, in the case of local ring. Another thing is if you look at the spec the prime ideals with the Zariski topology and uh, this one. So this one is now a better one because this is a cone see this graded ring is isomorphic to um, a polynomial ring in general I am talking in general uh, uh, kx1 x2 xn modulo some ideal j and this has a property that this is a made up of the lines passing through the origin. So therefore we have approximated this spectrum by a nice object which has this homogeneous property and that namely the cone that is called a cone a fine cone. So that is spec of this. Uh, in the example, it will become more and more clear about the geometry. Okay, that is one comment. Uh, and another thing is, um, we wanted to define uh, in general uh, when the ring is not regular, uh, ring is not local. Then we want to define it is called a regular if all localizations are regular. But to do this. We have to prove first that if you have a regular local ring, uh, if you have a local ring, and if all localizations are local, uh, all localizations are regular, then the original ring also should be regular. And this is not so easy to prove. We, for this, we need a help from homological algebra. So after this, I will uh, develop homological algebra. So uh, uh, this statement that A is local, then a is regular if and only if A localized P is regular for all P. This, this is not so easy to prove because of this uh, uh, to prove this statement uh, homological algebra use uh, the use of homological methods in commutative algebra became more and more popular. Okay, so now first I will indicate the the uh, some examples first. Of course, some examples we have to uh, decide. So, for example, um, also we have defined uh, for a uh, singular locus. If I have a affine variety v, so v of the ideal. This is a subset of the spectrum of the polynomial ring let us say and we wanted to define what are the singular points. So the singular points uh, to test the whether some point is singular or not that is what the criterion I stated last time that the Jacobian criterion that anyway we will prove it soon uh, but uh, more important is uh, for arbitrary ring, ring for the spec of A, we want to define what are the singular points. So, sing of spec of A. These are all those prime ideals where the ring is not regular. AP is not regular. So, those are called singular points and the complement is called non singular points. So, we want to check that this this singular points is a closed subset and not only closed subset it is thin that means it has not too many elements. So the following two examples will uh, give more uh, light on that for example if you try to draw a graph of some curves let us say cubic curves. So these are the examples. 
that gives us some idea. So, these are these cubic curves in the plane of course, in the plane. For example, if you take the equation uh, y cube minus x square. So, the picture will look like this. So, at this point will be the singular point that is how we will test in Jacobian criterion also and this is what we have learned from your calculus courses also. Uh, this is called a cusp, this point is cusp or if you take another equation that will be y square minus x square times x plus 1. So, this will look like this. This is called a node, this is also singular point and you see why is it a singular point this or this here tangent is here there are visibly two tangents at this point right. So, the tangent is not well defined here also there are two tangents, but there is a double tangent one is so they are hidden no, so they are in the picture it is not seen, but actually they are double tangents here if you write down the equation of the tangent by using your calculus courses. Then you will have two tangents here namely this uh, x axis here it will be y equal to x and y equal to minus x and then another example is like this. So, here this uh, this this equation is uh, y square minus x times x square plus 1. And I am taking the real picture, so that I am taking the field is real numbers. So, in this case it is smooth, the point is smooth. So, this there is no singular point, no singular point. So, this is what we learned from calculus, but as you see, when you go in higher and higher dimension and more and more equations, then it becomes more and more difficult to check by using calculus methods. So, we have to have more powerful algebra and that is provided by commutative algebra. Okay, now, uh, before also I go on. So, in the same examples also now let us do it little bit more abstractly. So, I will prove now that. So, we have an Ethereum ring A not may not be local and we have the spectrum here and we have learned that this topological space has finitely many irreducible components and the irreducible components are provided by the minimal prime ideals. So, irreducible components they correspond to minimal primes. So, the first observation is uh, if some prime ideal P Suppose it belongs to more than one irreducible component. So, the think of P as a prime ideal. So, think of that as a point in a, a topological space and suppose this point belongs to two irreducible components that can happen. No? So, for example, if you have somebody like this, this is irreducible component. This. So, for example, if you have equation for example, if A equal to k x y mod x y mod x y ideal generated by x y. In this case the picture looks like this. So, this is one irreducible component, this is another irreducible component and this origin is a belong to both of them. So, in that situation I want to say that that, that point cannot be non singular, that point has to be singular. That means, the local ring at that point has to be non regular. So, if p belongs to that is the statement more than one irreducible component then p is singular 
singular means so that is p belongs to that is p a localized at p is not regular so let us prove so p belongs to more than one irreducible component means p will contain so everything the whole idea is all the geometric statement we will convert to algebra and prove there and go back so suppose p contains two minimal primes see p belongs to the p is on the irreducible component this statement when you translate to algebra it will become p contains that minimal prime so p contains therefore two minimal prime it is q and q prime where these are two minimal primes and what do you want to show you want to show this ring a localized at p is not regular right so that means you have to go to localization at p and because these minimal primes are contained in p they will survive here and they will continue to be minimal primes right but then we have just now seen this ring cannot be regular that's what we want to conclude if it is regular it will be domain and domain means exactly one minimal prime ideal namely the zero one but we have two minimal primes surviving there so therefore a localized at p cannot be regular so minimal primes contained in p therefore q a localized at p and q prime a localized at p both are minimal primes in this local ring but that cannot happen because uh, this is a domain if if a regular if it is regular if ap is regular then ap is a domain and therefore there there cannot be two minimal primes so contradiction therefore we have proved that ap is regular and that means p is singular so therefore when when one wants to draw picture of a spectrum of a ring where p is a point there then if at p it is non singular that means that p should belong to only one irreducible component okay and in this example so in this example for example uh it is not seen there are two components see the thing is we have to do locally and localization for some obvious reason it is not good enough to see the picture locally so localization is not good enough localization so for that i will it, we, we will we will study the concept of completion but i will not come come to this now this completion is like a more magnifying glass so which will see locally in a neighborhood even better and also it gives you a better connection with the analysis so that corresponds to the power seizing so here we are dealing with polynomials etc so completion will deal with the power seizing so that will give you more better picture so this picture when you would have looked looked under uh, completion you will see that two components are going through that origin this is what we will we will check when i introduce a completion to you okay fine now let us get back to our uh, proof of so the theorem we want to prove is actually this is what the dimension theorem should be if a is noetherian local then the dimension of a equal to dimension of graded ring of associated graded ring of a okay so uh, um, proof i only have to tie up several steps so i will be little bit sketchy but all the proofs you have you have known earlier in when we did hilbert functions and hilbert polynomials and and so on so now 
we, uh, this GRMA, this is finite type algebra over the residue field. So, this is k small x1 to xn, where k is the residue field of A and the maximal ideal is generated by x1 to xn. So, m is minimally generated by x1 to xn. Strictly speaking, it is bar here, right. So, this is this is standard what we call it standard graded k algebra. So, this is k direction m by m square direction m m square by m cube and so on. This is the associated graded ring and this this part generates as a k algebra graded ring is generated by this first homogeneous component over k as an algebra. So, that is what we know. So, now I am going to imitate what we did it for the local ring the Hilbert Samuel polynomial. I am going to imitate that to this this graded k algebra, this uh, uh, finite type k algebra, but the definitions are uh, defined, uh, definitions are defined by using this x1 to xn and uh, we have to check that it does not depend on the generating set, that is the major step, but that is also okay. So, uh, let us define what we are defined. So, more generally, so what we are, what I am going to do is, I have a polynomial algebra k x1 to xn and I have an ideal in that, k is an ideal in that and uh, I have the residue class algebra k x1 to xn mod a. This is k small x1 to xn and let me call this as a capital A. This is nothing to do with the original local ring. So, this is a and I am going to define, I have defined actually earlier lecture. So, I just want to recall for any m in n, we have defined this a less equal to m. That is by definition, you look at all those polynomials in this small x such that f degree of f is smaller or equal to m. Any element in a is coming from a polynomial and now you put uh, instead of capital X small x. So, this is not unique the expressions are not unique, but who cares that you just take them and look at all those degree m polynomials and take their images in this ring and collect all of them and call that as a m. And it is obvious now this is a k vector space and finite dimensional. So, it makes sense to define this function that is function from n to n any m going to k vector space dimension of this. This is I this function I denote by h suffix a, right? Because it depends on this. Uh, this is called Hilbert function of that ideal. Of the ideal a, and similarly the Hilbert series that is capital H A T. This is by definition. The series the coefficients are this values at m. This is Hilbert series. Of a. Okay, now let me uh, give one example so that you get that this. This uh, Hilbert function and Hilbert series they do not they depend on the generating set, 
this is what I want to show you by examples first. So, suppose you have two variables k x1, x2 and you take the ideal principal ideal generated by x1 minus x2 square. This is my ideal. Okay, then let us write down the Hilbert function of the ideal a at the value at m. So, I say that this is 2m plus 1 because what do we want to compute? We want to this should be the dimension of the vector space a less equal to m over k. This is what I want to check. So, what is this vector space? This is you just go mod that and take all polynomials of degree small or equal to a, uh, m and then compute the dimension. But I will list all those polynomials. See for example, 1, x1, etcetera, etcetera, x1 power uh, m, m, then x2, x1, x2, x1 power m minus 1, x2. These are, this is in fact the basis of this because what do you need? You need polynomial small or equal to m, right. So, and whenever there is x2 square, I will replace it by x1. So, I do not need x2 square. So, that is why and up to x. So, this is a basis for this and how many of them are there? They are, these are, uh, these are m, these are m and these are m, 2m and this is 1. So, this is 2m plus 1. Right. So, this is the Hilbert function and therefore, what is the Hilbert series? This is then uh, 1 plus t divided by 1 minus t whole square that is easy computation I will leave it for you to check. You just need only this in the calculation. Okay. So, on the other hand now suppose I this is I have taken this now suppose I take yes See here from x1 to x1 power m, they are m in number, from x2 to x1 power m minus 1. Okay, but you see now this we were talking what was a? A was k x1 x2 mod ideal generated by x1 minus x2 square. This was our the small x1 x2 is here, they are modulo this ideal. But I could have also taken this is also isomorphic to just forget x2. So, this is isomorphic to kx as a, as a algebra. So, I could have taken x as a my generating set and in that case what is the Hilbert function then? In that case it is easier. In that case if I take this as a representation, see when I say representation means you want to write a given algebra as a quotient of a polynomial algebra and there may be many ways to do it. So, for example, this was one way, this is another way you just you forget x2 and then you get k x1. No, forget x1, you get this is isomorphic to polynomial ring in kx, right. So, now if I use x as a generating set for the k algebra, then the Hilbert function will be not I do not write a, 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 a suffix here now. So, in that case h m will be equal to m plus 1 and the Hilbert series will be whatever. So, therefore, Hilbert function do depend on a generating set of a finite type k algebra. Now, therefore, the only hope is we prove that this degree of that we prove that it is a polynomial function and the degree of that polynomial function does not depend on a generating set. This is what one uh, we will prove. Okay, so, okay, to, so we are see in other words see this this L s equal to m this gives a filtration of the algebra A and we have used that to define the Hilbert function. Okay, now, uh, for, a, for principal ideal you can compute the Hilbert function. So, I will not compute that, but let us I will just at least state suppose I have a one polynomial in 
over a field in several variables and I want to I take the principal ideal generated by f that is a is the principal ideal generated by f and then we are taking the quotient algebra a is k x 1 to x n modulo ideal generated by f and then what is small h suffix f and capital H suffix f the series. So, I will write the series now so, because from each you can read the other one because these are the coefficients and these once you know the coefficients you know the series. So, for the 0 if f were 0 polynomial then it is easy it is 1 upon 1 minus t power n plus 1 and if f is non 0 it is 1 minus t power degree of f divided by 1 minus t power n plus 1 and this a, this one proves by induction on n by induction on n for f equal to 0 it is really easy because in that case what is our a is a polynomial algebra. So, if f equal to 0 let us see it is easy in this case a less equal to m is nothing but k polynomial ring in n variables less equal to m. This is a vector space of polynomials in n variables of degree up to m, but this is same as direct sum k x 1 to x n minus 1 less equal to i and x n power j the direct sum is running over i plus j equal to n and i and j are a natural numbers. We are interested in computing the dimension of this, but we can easily compute the dimension of this by induction and just tie it up. So, that I will not carry out that calculation. Similarly, same thing you can do it for non-zero f and for non-zero f um, the usual trick we have to do is we have done it earlier also that you have to consider uh, multiplication by f on the polynomial ring and then you get a, a exact sequence and then you read. So, that is this we have done, but not in this format, but the idea is clear that you have to consider a multiplication map by f on the polynomial ring then write the short exact sequence and from there you write the dimensions ok. ok. Um, now, uh, uh, again uh, the note that if you have two ideals a and b in the polynomial ring and, and uh, let us say homogeneous ideals. Then I want to check that the, the uh, Hilbert series for the sum ideal plus Hilbert series for the intersection is same as uh, Hilbert series for the ideal A plus Hilbert series for the ideal B. So, you should write T here actually. This is like uh, this we prove this kind of formula in almost every subject. Now, linear algebra you prove this, uh, even set theory you prove this, that is inclusion, exclusion, etcetera. So, the, this is you can say inclusion, exclusion for the Hilbert series. This is not so difficult to prove again. I will just indicate uh, the step. You see, you consider the map from A less equal to M to a plus b less equal to m mod b less equal to m. This is clear the notation this means the polynomials here of degree up to m and so on right and there is a natural map here which is surjective.
just going bar right so f going to f bar that is the map what is the kernel kernel of this map is precisely a intersection b less equal to n once we have that then you will get an exact sequence and then you go mod go mod this guys so that means you work in this big vector space k x1 to x n less equal to m this vector space these are all their subspaces right you work in this vector space and then when you go mod this then you get a formula you know from the short exact sequence you know, plus minus plus minus that that formula precisely will give you this formula. 